so I've got a little swamp wallaby that's come to have a drink. Um, so it's seven o'clock at night, just waiting for some sort of behavior from the, uh, the wallaby. It's sort of uh, wanting it to pop up. So we wait for it to uh, pop up. There's actually a kangaroo out there as well, um, an eastern grey kangaroo, that's the only type we get here. Um, we only get the swamp wallaby here, so, but there are a lot of different species of wallabies in Australia. Uh, three main kangaroo species, um, but they're really, really pretty and they're really, really good to have. They're not tame by any stretch of the imagination. Um, yeah, the kangaroos, unfortunately, um, they get shot by the uh, farmers destroying crops. Which is really sad to see. Um, sort of breaks my heart, to be honest. Um, so I've got the kangaroo, but he's obscured, so I can't get a good shot at the moment. I'm hoping that he hops, <laughs> hops out into the open and we can get some shots. Oh, there's two kangaroos. The younger one behind. So the kangaroo's popped up. I can actually probably get a headshot, but the background, I've got a tree, so I'm going to have to move to my left so that I get a better background. Doesn't like the shutter. Just turning it to silent shooting. So it's still there. I had to change my settings because the light's actually getting worse. And because there's two kangaroos, I've had to take my aperture out to f9 because I want as much sharp as I can get. Um, so I'm actually having to shoot. I actually had to bump the ISO up to 3200 and I'm f9 400th of a second. And exposure is good. I can't see the face of the joey, which is the only downside at the moment. It looks like the joey's drinking from the pouch um, of the mother. I'm just waiting for the joey to pop its head out so we can try and capture that interaction. I'm hopeful that we'll get that. It's a beautiful scene. You've got, you've got the mother and you've got that joey who's having a drink. And she's comfortable enough with me here just to do that and I'm able to watch it, photograph it and film it for you guys. worked out really good. We had the uh, adult, I didn't actually see the, the joey until a little bit later on, and the joey and the adult were out in the open and the joey was drinking from the mother. Um, so it's still a fairly big joey actually, um, but it was drinking and we were able to watch that behaviour, take some photos, 
And then we hoped, as, as, as I, I was hoping, that the joey would sort of look out from behind the mother so that we had the two heads and we could capture that interaction between the, the joey and the mother. And, I, and hopefully I got that. And that's what I was hoping for. And that's, that's what we're going for, you know, when you photograph from wildlife and things like that. You just want some uh, an intimate moment that possibly will never be captured in that way again. And, and, and having the camera and photographing allows you to uh, share that moment, I suppose, um, which is awesome. And, and to have it so close to home is a real bonus as well. The light is pretty flat, I must admit. Um, so I'll probably have to push it, play with it a bit in, in Lightroom and Photoshop, but I'm confident we should get some images um, shooting at uh, those high ISOs and this sort of lowish light will introduce a bit of noise. So we'll see how we handle that. But overall, really good. So let's go inside and process some images. Okay, so I've come inside and I've processed this image of the female kangaroo and her young joey. As I suspected, due to the flat light, the high ISO, we've got a fairly bland sort of looking image that's lacking uh, a lot of um, colour and contrast that you get from nice light. Uh, this image is still a nice image, but I'll just tell you a few of the things that I, that I don't like. So we're currently looking at the raw file, and if we zoom in, we can see that there's quite a bit of noise that's been introduced um, from the high ISO, which was 3200. You can see a sort of a bit of a grain and a bit of a grain in the kangaroo. And it's very flat, as mentioned. We are missing the nice eye contact from the female mother, just looking away from us. It would have been nicer if we had her eye contact, but it wasn't to be. The, the young one, the joey, is looking at us, which is nice. That's great. I'm enjoying the, that we have got both kangaroos in the one shot, um, as I got excited about when I was outside. I'm not too happy with this large rock on the left-hand side. Would have preferred it if that wasn't there. Um, and the grass, you know, the grass does add a little bit. That's how it is out in the bush. Uh, I would pr probably prefer it if it was a little bit uh, lower and it wasn't quite covering the kangaroos so much. The sky is obviously a little bit grey, which is um, not ideal, but we had a lot of smoke. So the things that I don't like, um, as I mentioned, I do really, really like the um, pose of the two, you know, having them both there together. It's a very Australian scene. We've got a few eucalypts in the background here. So let's try and uh, fix that in post. So I did process this raw file in Lightroom. So I'll show you what the Lightroom looks like. So that's in Lightroom after we've had a play with the sliders, you know, increase the vibrancy and whatnot. If you want to see how I edit my photos, I've got a couple of videos that you can watch where I go into quite a bit of detail on how I process these images. So if we zoom in, we've still got a bit of noise showing, but it is looking better than it was. So we've got a bit more color um, and a little bit more contrast. So the final step that I do is I actually do it in Photoshop. So I do a quite a few little touches in Photoshop. So I'll show you um, the last version in Photoshop. So that's after uh, I've made a few adjustments in Photoshop. Probably the most noticeable thing is, is I've actually removed the noise, um, the noise in the background and on the eye of the kangaroo. So you can see there's quite a bit of a difference um, between the um, before and after. If you want to know how I remove the noise from the images, I've got a tutorial coming up or a video on that and I'm going to show you how I remove the noise with both a paid option and a free option. So be sure to tune in for that. Subscribe if you want to see how I reduce noise. But I've also added a little bit of contrast um, and it does, does look a lot better than that uh, raw image. So that's the raw image and that's the final image. So quite a difference between the two images. And it shows you the power of processing. Some people are a little bit daunted by processing, but it's a really good skill and it gets the most out of those images. So by not processing this image, you're not really doing it justice in my opinion. So this is the raw file and that's the final image. The final image looks much better to my eyes and that's the final image I've come up with and uh, that's the image that we'll go with. If you want to see a version of this image, I'll put a link in the description below, a link to my website where I have all my images. You can have a look for yourself. 
I really, really appreciate all the support. Leave a comment below if you want to give me some tips or advice or if you have any questions. I subscribe if you want more content like this. And obviously hit that bell if you want to be notified. But again, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my upcoming videos. And thank you very much. Take care.